So guys, I've, I've just started watching the show. Um, I was surprised by how, how much horror and paranormal content there is in it, even though the subject matter is there. It's still really graphic. Did you find that at all when you, when you started working on it? Sure, yeah. I mean, yeah. That, you got it. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, uh, it's, it's interesting because the things that I remember about it are like the progression of the character mm -hmm. and that sort of thing because that's, what I, that's kind of what I have to worry about. And uh, but even in the first couple episodes, there's quite a lot of stuff that we do that's uh, horrific. Um, particularly in the first episode with uh, Joshua and all that. But um, you know, it is particularly horrific because Joshua, uh, the way that Joshua accesses uh, Kyle's, you know, uh, buttons and everything, he's good at pushing Kyle's buttons and that sort of thing. So everything is very character driven from my perspective. So it's funny when I watch episodes back, you're, it is surprising how, uh, how much crazy stuff is in it. It's funny, uh, like we didn't think about it, shooting it. It's like literally it was like what makes the scene, what the basic actor, and we're all pretty much. I think what drew us to it in the first place was, was Characters, there's strong mm -hmm. characters, it's got a strong narrative, it's got a strong story, you know, so that was the, 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 the that's what actors, good actors are looking for. They could invest in, in something and it's not just one dimension and, and all these characters are incredibly flawed in many respects and incredibly real and human, you know. Right. So it's a, it's a show about demonic possession where everyone has personal demons mm. that we're all trying to deal with. It's really fabulous. Mm. And so it's funny when you ask that, it's like uh, I have to remind myself, oh yeah, it was, horror there elements. was some yeah. horror stuff going yeah. on. Because <laughs> that's not what I remember. Mm. Yeah, I remember, mm. you know, laughing with mm. you. Because mm. I think what drew me to the show in the first place, if you were to, you know, if there were an elevator pitch, you would say, sure, it's about demonic possession in a way. But then I read the script and all of the characters, like you said, were so richly developed mm. um, and well it's observed. It's a great ensemble piece as well, isn't it? It's a mm. wonderfully, sh you know, shared piece. You know, everybody's got, I mean, there's, there isn't a weak character in it. They're, all of them, even the, the guests that come in and do a little bit, bits and pieces, right. they're really thought through by the writers and really developed. And that's always a sign of, of really strong writing and they've really put some effort into it and thought, which is great. Um, Brent. It's amazing. Mm. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Absolutely. Oh, my God, yeah. Mm -hmm. So Adam uh, Wingard directs the first episode, um, but you have different directors along the course of the show. So I was wondering um, how that affects things. And when you're doing characters that progress, as you mentioned, do they have a different approach to each character as well? The directors? The, yeah. Like uh, the transition between two different directors? Yeah, I mean, they, they do. I think when when you run the template that that we have and and you get a director per episode i think they're really concerned a lot with like logistics and right. like making mm -hmm. sure that whatever tone or language they're going to choose for you know that episode is enough their own but also you know fits into the the cinematic language of the entire show and and so I mean, they also, they were all really, you know, respectful about, like, uh, coming in and saying, hey, I know you guys have spent a lot of time with the characters, and, uh, you know, that sort of thing. But, uh, yeah, I, I, yeah, I didn't experience anybody really trying to change my character. Maybe somebody else had a different experience, but... If they did, you just agree with them and then just carry on doing what you're doing. <laughs> <laughs> I learned that years yeah. ago. Well, uh, yeah, absolutely. No, you're right. That's a great idea. <laughs> we're, not a, we're not a machine yet. Sometimes on a show, it's a machine oh. and, and the director has to fit in. You know, or if, if, you know, if it's Steven Spielberg, of course, then we'll all change the machine <laughs> because we want to work with Steven Spielberg. But... I don't know, this isn't that kind of a group anyway, yeah. so yeah. Yeah. we're going to be respectful, yeah. you know, and talk with director, has a different idea about the character. I did another show where my character didn't s smile a lot, I won't say which show it is, <laughs> and one of the directors came in and said, no, big smile, and I was like, I couldn't say, do you watch the show? 
<laughs> this dude don't smile. But instead you just go, oh, well, let's see. You know, to try to nicely say, yeah. do, you know, do your homework. Yeah. Because the director has to do his homework too. You know, just saying I'm the director doesn't make you in charge, you, you know. It's quite, I think it's a quite difficult task because you're, you're coming into somebody else's house in a way, but you also need to be in charge of that house. Yeah. Well, you're, yeah, so well, you're coming in and redecorating. Very, a yeah, bit, it's very you? tricky, yeah. I think. Kind of I think thing. it's hard. So you have to, it's gentle. Yeah. yeah, I think it'd be like if you're, I don't know, since we're in England, like if you're playing like with different soccer clubs, you know, if you were to change the captain and just bring in someone new every time, there'd be, I think, a learning curve, but also, like, everybody has a different Chelsea. style. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and Man United. Oh, Man no, City. it's not Man United. It is. The only one that, that, that keeps F their continuity, darling, I think you'll find an Arsenal. Winners. My team. <laughs> I mean, you've obviously worked here and now doing a lot of stuff in America as well. How have you found that transition? And I guess for the rest of the cast, is there, do you find there's something very specifically American about this show? Um, that maybe we wouldn't translate elsewhere? Or is there a universal theme throughout it? Mm. That's a good question. I think it, because it's in the mm. American South yeah. and there are very specific things, yeah. I yeah. think it, it would be hard. Mm -hmm. But then, say, uh, having said that, smart people, you know, I didn't think House of Cards would work in America. <laughs> oh nice boy, was huge. I wrong. Yeah, absolutely. But I thought, there's no way. This is, no, come on. There's no class system in America, so that guy can't exist. And mm. of course, I was wrong. Um, in terms of me going and then working in America, um, I think generally the, the fact of the matter is a film crew is a film crew wherever you go in the world. You know, everybody's got their role and their job to do. Um, if you're asking me what the fundamental difference is, I think in America, certainly because we're on cable over there, so there's a lot more risk taking, there's more time invested. Um, and the hours are much longer, <laughs> for sure, you know. Sorry. I had to spot the Brit, it was like, what time is it? You're having a laugh, aren't you? <laughs> Four o'clock in the morning. Longer yeah. series as well, I guess, because uh, we're used to short series over here, usually six maximum, but this... Well, this eight, we do, well, we've got up to eight, I think, in this country now, so it's a matter of time before we're doing 10, which is great because it allows you to explore. You know, the hardest thing is doing those three parts, which I've done a few of, because you know, you just get into, people just get into the characters and it's like, well, it's finished. Mm -hmm. And that's kind of frustrating because you know there's more to the story. So it's great to be part of something that's like eight parts, um, uh, sorry, 10 parts that you can really explore the story and the characters and you know, all that sort of thing, get to know the character and, and go on the journey with them, you know, and, and it's a sort of slow burn. It's a lovely thing about Outcast, mm -hmm. it doesn't rush into everything. Yeah. It just sort of sets it up very slowly and takes its time and, you know, at its own pace without sort of pandering to thinking, what do we need to give the audience? It's more about, America's more about saying, this is what this show's about. If you want to come on the journey, great. If you don't, turn over. That's why, you know, in the first minute we see Joshua splatting the, the, the locust and, and you kind of know where you stand with this show. I mean, if the, the equivalent was in Britain or ITV, they'd be like, <laughs> oh my God, oh no. <laughs> Will we get away with this? Will they show this? You know, <laughs> so, but um, we're getting there. <laughs> it's, it's a great opening, actually. And I, I was wondering, what other moments throughout the show can we expect maybe that each of your own characters are involved in that maybe took you back and kind of surprised you that are we really going to go this far with this? Well, my character, none at all. My character is... There's one in mind, but I can't <laughs> say because it's a big spoiler. So much with the demons. Same, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I think you see at the end of the pilot, there's a moment that, um, you know, is explored in slightly greater depth later on in the show that is pretty, yeah, pretty shocking. Mm. Mm -hmm. mm. I beat up a kid. <laughs> you beat up a kid. <laughs> yeah. I did that. But in context of the show. In the, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Side note. He um, deserved it, though. Yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, like, the, the, I read the pilot. It's all going, like, you know, one sort of... Uh, nice direction and then there's this really violent altercation which is alarming you know because it's a little kid um but i mean uh that that certainly is like the the fact that the characters are willing to do that like kyle gets pushed into doing that but he also makes the decision to hit the kid and so 
the fact that the characters are willing to go that far, you know, <clears throat> and that Kyle is, you can push Kyle to that point, um, is interesting and also sets a lot of things up for later in the season that we, you know, that are spoilers, but um, yeah, we do some messed up stuff. <laughs> All right, thank you very much, guys. Thank Pleasure. You. I really did enjoy the first few episodes that I've seen. So, uh, yeah, good, good. Thank, thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys. Hey You Guys, huh? Hey you guys, is that yeah. from the Goonies? It is indeed, yeah. Nice. Hey!